Do INFJs attract betrayal? INFJs, one of the rarest personality types in the Myers-Briggs system, are known for their deep empathy, strong intuition, and ability to understand others on a profound level. But with these unique traits comes a pattern many INFJs have noticed, a higher-than-average experience of betrayal. Why does this happen? Are INFJs unknowingly attracting betrayal? Let's dive into the psychological reasons behind why this type might encounter betrayal more frequently and how their very nature could make them vulnerable in certain relationships. 1. The INFJ Empath Attracting Emotionally Needy People INFJs are highly empathetic and have a natural ability to deeply understand the feelings and needs of others. This makes them incredibly supportive friends, partners, and colleagues. However, this level of empathy can often attract people who are emotionally needy or toxic. These individuals may rely heavily on the INFJ's emotional strength without offering much in return, leaving the INFJ feeling drained and, in some cases, betrayed when their support is taken for granted. INFJs are often seen as emotional anchors, and people in distress may latch onto them. Unfortunately, this emotional dependence can easily lead to manipulation or betrayal when these individuals fail to reciprocate or appreciate the INFJ's support. 2. INFJ Idealism Seeing the best in everyone One of the defining characteristics of an INFJ is their idealism. They tend to see the world not as it is, but as it could be. This means that INFJs often look for the best in others, sometimes to their detriment. They may overlook red flags or signs of potential betrayal because they genuinely believe in people's capacity for growth and change. INFJs are driven by their introverted intuition and extroverted feeling, which pushes them to believe in the potential good in others. Unfortunately, this can sometimes lead them to ignore warning signs that a person may not have their best interests at heart. This idealism can make INFJs more susceptible to betrayal because they are more likely to give others the benefit of the doubt even when they shouldn't. 3. Difficulty Setting Boundaries INFJs, being natural givers, often struggle to set clear boundaries in their relationships. Their desire to help others can sometimes overshadow their own needs, and they may find it hard to say no when someone asks for their time, energy, or emotional support. Over time, this lack of boundaries can lead to burnout and, ultimately, feelings of betrayal when the INFJ realizes they've been used or taken advantage of. Individuals with the INFJ personality tend to prioritize harmony in their relationships, often sacrificing their own well-being for the sake of keeping others happy. However, this can leave them vulnerable to people who don't respect their boundaries or who take advantage of their kindness. Without clear boundaries, INFJs may find themselves repeatedly in situations where they are overextended and emotionally exhausted, leading to feelings of betrayal when others fail to acknowledge or reciprocate their efforts. 4. Being misunderstood. A core INFJ struggle. INFJs are complex, multi-layered individuals who often feel misunderstood by those around them. This deep-rooted sense of being different or alien can lead to miscommunication in their relationships. Their intense inner world and unique way of seeing things might not always align with others, leading to misunderstandings, misinterpretations, and ultimately, betrayal when their intentions or actions are misconstrued. INFJs often feel that others don't fully get them, and when they open up and share their deeper selves, they risk being misjudged or betrayed by those who don't understand or appreciate their true nature. 5. Overtrusting due to their strong intuition. People with the INFJ personality type are known for their powerful intuition. They often rely on this intuition to navigate relationships and life situations, trusting their gut feelings to guide them. However, this reliance on intuition can sometimes backfire. In some cases, INFJ male and INFJ female might overestimate their ability to read people, trusting someone too soon or ignoring logical red flags because their intuition tells them otherwise. INFJs may fall into the trap of believing they can sense whether someone is trustworthy, leading them to place their faith in the wrong people. When INFJs misjudge someone's character based on intuition alone, they may open themselves up to betrayal, 
feeling blindsided when their initial read on the person turns out to be wrong. 6. INFJ's desire for deep, authentic connections. INFJs crave deep, meaningful connections with others. They aren't satisfied with surface-level relationships and will often go out of their way to forge bonds that are emotionally rich and fulfilling. However, this intense desire for authenticity can sometimes lead INFJs to pour their energy into relationships that aren't reciprocal. They may invest heavily in people who don't value the same depth of connection, resulting in feelings of betrayal when their emotional investment isn't returned. INFJs tend to give more in relationships than they receive, often out of a genuine desire to connect on a deeper level. However, when they realize the other person isn't as invested, the betrayal can feel incredibly personal and painful. This imbalance can lead INFJs to feel betrayed by those who don't share the same level of emotional commitment or who fail to appreciate the depth of connection the INFJ brings to the relationship. 7. The INFJ's Sensitivity to Injustice One of the most defining traits of INFJs is their strong sense of justice and fairness. They have a deep need to stand up for what's right and are often highly principled individuals. This can make betrayal especially painful for INFJs, as they feel a deep sense of personal violation when someone breaks their trust or acts in a way that is morally wrong. INFJs hold themselves and others to high ethical standards. When someone betrays their trust or acts unethically, it cuts deep, not just on a personal level, but also because it violates the INFJ's strong sense of justice. Betrayal for an INFJ isn't just about hurt feelings, it's about a fundamental breach of values. This makes it harder for them to move on from betrayal, as they often feel it on a deeply moral level. 8. Self-blame and overthinking after betrayal. INFJs are prone to overthinking, especially when it comes to their relationships. After experiencing betrayal, they may replay events in their minds, trying to figure out where things went wrong. Often, they internalize the blame, wondering if they missed something or if they were too trusting. INFJs tend to take betrayal very personally. Rather than placing the blame solely on the person who wronged them, they may reflect on their own actions and wonder if they could have done something differently to avoid the situation. This tendency to overanalyze and self-blame can prolong the emotional pain of betrayal for INFJs, making it harder for them to heal and move forward. So, do INFJs attract betrayal? The answer is complex. INFJs don't actively seek betrayal, but their unique traits, empathy, idealism, a desire for deep connections, and difficulty setting boundaries, can make them more vulnerable to it. Their natural inclination to trust and see the good in others often leaves them exposed to manipulation, misunderstanding, and emotional exploitation. However, Understanding these patterns can help INFJs protect themselves by setting clearer boundaries, listening to both their intuition and logic, and being cautious about who they invest in emotionally. By learning to balance their deep empathy with a more discerning approach to relationships, INFJs can protect themselves from future betrayals while still maintaining their authentic, compassionate nature.